Why do they call it the past? When every time you turn around, that sucker is staring you right in the face. Cigar? Nothing. How's it going? Ask me in the morning. You gonna go for it tonight? You know, partner, these Cassidines put down roots like freaking palm trees. If you don't hack them off fast, they grow so deep, you gotta blast them out with dynamite. You don't really think you can pull this off? It'll be a thing of beauty. This really wasn't inspired by the volunteer. I'm doing it because I want to help the children. I know, and I admire that. Nonetheless, it still serves my plan. I thought bailing out the hospital was the plan. Only the beginning. All right, what now? Keep your eyes open. Hello, Laura. I'm so glad you could make it. Hello, Stefan. Nicholas. It's nice to see you again. Have you started your volunteer work here at the hospital? Sort of. Well, if Lulu's any judge, I'm sure you're going to be terrific with the children. Stefan, what was so important that you couldn't tell me over the phone? I wanted to make you a proposition that I hope you can't refuse. Oh, don't look so worried, Laura. I simply wanted to offer you a job here at General Hospital. I didn't realize that in addition to becoming the savior of General Hospital, you were also the new personnel director. Well, my financial contribution gives me a certain amount of input. And what kind of a job did you have in mind? Please. Nicholas. Now, when Nicholas was a patient here, one of the things that impressed me most was the extremely personal quality of the care he received. That has always been the case here. It's what sets General Hospital apart from all other institutions. Yes, but with the staff cuts that we'll be forced to make to contain costs, I'm deeply concerned that the hospital will lose its greatest asset. And I would like you to make sure that doesn't happen. Well, I'm very flattered. But why me? There are any number of people more qualified. No, not so. I hear your work at the Foundation is exemplary. Your mother was a doctor here for many years. You practically grew up here. You have an intimate relationship with this institution. And I, for one, have first-hand experience of your compassionate nature. Are you being facetious? No, not at all. I've given the matter a great deal of thought, and I think you're the best person for the job. How would you feel about my working here? Doesn't matter to me in the least bit. It might mean that we would see each other every day. Well, as far as I'm concerned, you'd just be another employee. Well, you don't have to decide right now. Take some time and think it over. That won't be necessary. So, how are you planning to pull this up? Same way I've been handling the mess from the beginning. In other words, you're just gonna wing it? Under the circumstances, I don't know any other way. You scare me sometimes. I scare myself. How'd your meeting with Uncle Stefan go? Short and sweet. I showed him my money, he showed me his. Actually, he's trying to... He tried to match up my $30 million for the Stone Cates Memorial Wing. They're gonna erect a statue to him around here someday soon. I gotta be honest with you, Luke. I, uh, I cannot figure this guy out. Well, the only thing you need to know for sure is don't trust him. Yeah, I can do that. But you know, the, he's, he tries to operate on a different wavelength. Why, why does he want to spend so much money to save the hospital? He's buying souls. For what? Maybe the sheer pleasure of owning them. You know, I hate to... 
hate to bring up a sore subject, but you know, I, I get a feeling that him and your sister have something going. Well, Barbara Jean's having kind of a rough time at home right now. Yeah, well, it's gonna get a hell of a lot rougher if she keeps hanging out with him. Tell me. See, the problem is that since he's saved the hospital, she thinks he walks on water like most of the other people in the Chuckles. So what are you gonna do? Well, right now, Stefan is controlling the pace of the game, so he thinks he's on top. But in about uh, two hours, hopefully he'll be so rattled he won't know which way is up. Watch your back. Well, you know, as a great philosopher once said, the riskless life ain't worth living. Viva la viva em. Well, watch your back anyway. You'll take the job. When would you like me to start? As soon as possible. I'll speak to Alan and work out a compensation package for your approval. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be fair. That's... I'm not doing this for the money anyway. Then why are you doing it? Uh, because I agree with your uncle. The non-medical care that a patient receives is every bit as important to his recovery. And that's always been a fundamental here at General Hospital. I knew you were the right person for this job. Thank you. My mother taught me the importance of kindness and compassion many years ago. There you are, Nicholas. Right on time. Good. Hi, Laura. How are you doing here? Oh, Stefan has offered me a job here at General Hospital. And she's accepted. Well, that's fabulous. Uh, you be here for a half hour because I have a break coming up. I'd love to hear all about it. I'll wait for you. And you come with me because I got a surprise for you. Not a locker. Stick with me, kiddo. But I thought there wasn't any available. Well, you know, you just have to know the right people around here. Anyway, come with me. Bring your gear. We'll put it in there, and then I'll take you up to the okay. children's ward, and I'll introduce okay. you. Okay. Right. Good luck with your new job. Thank you. Do you suppose that he actually meant that? Yes. In spite of everything that's happened, I... I think he's genuinely curious to know more about his mother. That's good. You know why I had to make the decision not to see him anymore. Well, hopefully, with the two of you working here together, you'll be able to establish some kind of a relationship without your husband looking over your shoulder every minute. Is that why you offered me this job? I love my nephew, Lasha. You didn't answer my question. You, of all people, should know that nothing in life is black and white. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to go see Alan and share with him the good news about your decision. Laura? Laura. Glad I was able to track you down. Have you got a minute? Uh, yes. Is something wrong? Well, I think that Luke is trying to have Nicholas deported. You tell me. Yeah, I know you're not the kind of person to exaggerate or just say something that you're not sure about, but are, are, is it possible that there was a miscommunication? There's no secret how he feels about Nicholas, but I, I can't believe he'd do something like that. Laura, he asked me specifically not to come to you and tell you about our conversation. Right, okay. Uh, well, suppose you're right. Wouldn't you need grounds to have someone deported? Well person can be permanently deported if they commit a crime. Yeah, but Nicholas hasn't committed any crimes. You don't think that Luke would try to frame him, do you? This is the men's locker room. <laughs> what do you have to do to pull this off? Sell my soul. <laughs> well, you must have, because when I applied for this, they said there was a list a mile long. Yeah, well, the truth is, you know, with all the staff cuts around here, there really were quite a few openings. <laughs> this is really great. I really appreciate this spot. Yeah. I'm glad I could help, but it really wasn't any big deal. 
Yeah, well, maybe not to you, but I think you're forgetting something. I mean, people here in Port Charles haven't exactly rolled out the red carpet for me and my uncle. Yeah, I know. But you know that's all in the past. I mean, especially now, after what Stefan's done for G.H., he might be elected mayor someday. Not if Luke has anything to say about it. Well, you know, fortunately he doesn't. My brother is uh, still living in the past. But he's dead wrong about you and Stefan. And if he keeps this up, he's going to find himself a very lonely man because a lot of people are really starting to lose their patience with him. You sound as if that might include you. Well, you know, I love my brother. And I would do anything for him, but I am sick to death of this insane vendetta that he's carrying on with you and your family. It's completely warped his judgment. Anyway, come on, let's go finish our tour. Okay. all of this on you out of the blue. I just didn't know what else to do. No, you did the right thing. So what are you going to do? Confront him with it. Well, feel free to let him know where you got the information. I don't consider there's any attorney-client privilege at work. Okay. You sure you're going to be okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just having a little bit of a hard time digesting all of this. I mean... I thought it was settled when I agreed not to see Nicholas anymore. And regardless of how he feels about him, Nicholas saved our daughter's life. And I just can't believe that he'd stoop that low. So, what do you think? Any questions? Any concerns? Yeah, only one. What if the kids don't like me? Oh, not possible. How can you say that? Because you're a likable kind of guy. I have a prediction, okay? I think your biggest problem is going to be the kids won't want to let you leave at night. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Trust me, okay? And hey, if you have any problem, you can come to me. <laughs> yes, sir, General Jones. Oh, I know I said it before, but I'm awfully glad you're going to be working here. Thanks. It means a lot to me. I gotta go. Okay, it's been so hectic around here since we reopened, but uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. So you volunteered to work with the kiddies. That's nice. What are you going to do? Teach them to eat with a silver spoon and send back the wine? No, actually, I, actually, I was going to call you. I wanted to see if uh, if you could come down and, and play the clown. I get you one of those uh, those big red noses, you know, and uh, those funny shoes to flop around in. Oh, or maybe you'd rather be Chicken Little. See, that way you could run around run around the halls going, the Cassidines are coming. The Cassidines are coming. <laughs> I think you got everybody snowed here, don't you? Because Uncle <laughs> Stefan has saved the day. But we both know it's a con, don't we, Nikki? That's starting to get a little tired and lame, don't you think? I mean, come on, get with the program, Luke. Even Laura's on board now. Oh, shoot. Didn't they tell you? My uncle just hired her. But I'll tell you what. If you're nice to me, only if you're nice to me. I'll put in a good word for you. I mean, I'm sure there's a job around here for you, changing, changing bedpans or something. No, thanks. I appreciate it. But I don't like hospitals. Too many sick people. Well, good luck with the kiddies. No hard feelings. Give me a call. We'll have lunch.
Thank you so much for helping Nicholas. He really looks up to you, you know. The more time I spend with him, the more I like him. I'm hoping that his work here at the hospital will be a positive influence in his life. Get your hands off! Wait, 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 excuse me! Hold on, right there! Stop! What do you think you're doing with my nephew? We got a report of a dark-haired kid wearing dark jacket and dark pants who broke into a drug supply closet and stole a quantity of restricted drugs. That's insane. I didn't break into any drug cabinet. I don't know about any drugs. I'm a volunteer here. I work with children. You let my nephew go now, or I'll have your jobs. Both of you. I'm afraid we can't do that, sir. Do you know who I am? I'm Stefan Cassidine. It's because of me that you have this job. Now, I suggest if you want to keep it, you let my nephew go. He's neither a thief nor a drug addict. No. Then what, he just sells it? How much will... Let him go now or I will have your jobs, both of you. I'm afraid we can't do that, sir. Do you know who I am? I'm Stefan Cassidine. It's because of me that you have these jobs. Now, I suggest if you want to keep them, you will let him go. He is neither a thief nor a drug addict. No. Then you must be selling this stuff. Let's go, fellas. Wait, wait. They're not mine. I swear it, Uncle. No, this is outrageous. Now, you will release him now, or there will be hell to pay. I'm sorry. Stop! Sir. He's right. It is a mistake. The pills are mine. I put them in Nicholas's pocket. Excuse me, ma'am. These pills are yours? Yes. I had the pills with me because I was taking them to administer some medication. And I took Nicholas's jacket when I was showing him his locker. He is a volunteer here. And I was about to demonstrate the lock, so I slipped the pills into his pocket so I would have the use of both of my hands. And of course, you saw her do it. Now, if I would have seen it, I would have told you. Obviously, I was looking at the lock. Then I was interrupted again, and I just forgot what I'd done. So you picked up a controlled substance and forgot where you put it? Yeah. <laughs> As head OR nurse, I should probably call myself out on the carpet. Nicholas had absolutely nothing to do with it. I'll sign something if you want me to. What about the anonymous phone tip about the drug theft? The description matches him. I don't know anything about that. I only know about these pills in this circumstance. You two get back to work. take those pills, you know that. I know that. Then somebody set me up. Who would have done that? Someone sick and desperate. Why, just because my name is Cassidy? That'd do it for me. Oh, Luke. I hope what I'm thinking isn't true. I'm only trying to figure out what Barbara Jean of Arc thinks she's doing. I'm suggesting that now that the unpleasantness is over, everyone calm down and go about their business. And those that don't have any business here, leave. I'm very sorry that you had to go through that. You're sorry? This miserable little piece of work steals drugs and then sings the oldest song in the book. Where did these come from? And my wife and my sister, two otherwise totally intelligent, competent women, eat it up like a plate of sugar cookies. What the hell is going on here? The Cassidines volunteer in a hospital and you two take it at face value. What are you, asleep? Well, if nobody else is gonna report this to the cops, I guess it's up to me. Luke, no! If you go to the police, I'll follow you, and I will tell them the truth. Clean two straight lines. They broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed, man. Okay.
Yo. Unlucky. Lucky here. I'm babysitting. And bored out of my school. Unavailable, try again later. Oh, come on. What truth are you talking about, Laura? No, don't make me do this. Don't, don't make me choose. You do whatever you have to do. I'm calling the cops. No! You planted drugs on my son. Why would I do that? Because you hate him and you want to have him deported. Well, yeah, sure. But framing a kid? It's an awful lot of trouble to go oh, through. for God's sakes. And the thing that I told Justice off... What the hell does Justice have to do with anything? He told me that you came to him. You were asking questions about deportation. He jumped to the obvious conclusion, and I said, no. I... How could you sink so low? Oh, stop it! I've had enough of this. Somebody's got to put an end to this dog and pony show. Oh, my God. What kind of a monster are you? I have watched you weep and fawn over this while you neglected your own. What kind of a monster? I'm the kind who takes care of his own. By planting drugs on an innocent boy? There's nothing innocent about him. It comes from a long line of murderers. They, these are just thugs with good manners and designer clothes. Nothing but killers and thieves, just like his old man. Hey, no, 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 no. Stay in there, let him abuse our family like that. Let them play this Your story, you wounds, Laura. He's just as much as part of me as, as Lucky or Lulu, and that's what you hate. It's not that you're protecting me or our children. You hate the fact that I had a child with another man. I can't fight your hate anymore. I can't. And I won't deny him. He is my son. I have already left him twice for you. Apparently, I wasn't worth it, and neither were our kids, because you just chose a stranger over us. But does it feel good now to turn the clock back? All these years laying in bed with me, baby? Were you really thinking about Stavros? Stop it! Go ahead, come on, do it! No! Do more! What have you got left to lose? You. Last time you threw me out, this time I'll make it easy on you. I'm walking. Lou, what are you doing? I can't believe you could behave so despicably. Welcome to the real world, little sister. It's ugly, isn't it? Laura. I don't understand. I... I just don't understand. I did everything that he asked me to do. Everything. I even turned my back on my own flesh and blood. Until I couldn't. I just, I couldn't anymore. I know. What has happened to Luke? It was a terrible, impossible choice. But for what it's worth, I truly believe that you did the right thing. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. You didn't have a choice. Luke put you in that position. How could you possibly support his trying to frame an innocent kid? One you love. Barbara. What you did for my nephew tonight was heroic. I'll never forget it. Well, you think you know people. 
I'm sure I know Nicholas well enough to know that he didn't take those drugs. I mean, I wasn't going out on a limb. I knew. What hurts is that I don't feel as though I know who my brother is anymore. Uh, Stefan? Nicholas is pretty upset. Well, I think he'll get his bearings with your support. Could you stay a few minutes and talk to him? I'm sorry I can't. I feel like there's something I need to finish right now. At least now Nicholas knows what he means to you. Laura. I'll remember her kindness. But most of all, I'll remember what you did for your son tonight. Yes, you will remember, because I'll never let you forget. I won't let you forget, because I hold you responsible, at least in part, for what happened here tonight. I know you're in pain, but how can you possibly blame me for the monstrous thing you're You pushed him to it. You knew where his breaking point was, and you just pushed and you pushed and you pushed. I won't argue this with you. You're overwrought now. Don't you insult me. I'm not making excuses for his behavior. What he did was wrong, but that doesn't make me blind to all of your games. You better tell me what's going on, Dad. All right, son. Change and variation. Luke. Oh, great. OK, Barbara, just say it. Get it over with. You bet I'll say it. You have gotten yourself so distorted with despising the Cassidines that you can't even see what you're doing anymore. You may hate the fact that Nicholas exists, but he's just a teenage boy, Luke. He is not the second coming of Satan. He's an adolescent boy. Age has nothing to do with ability to destroy, and you know it, Barbara. Look at what he's already done. Nicholas hasn't done anything you have with your hatred. I did what I had to do. What the hell do you want from me? I hate what you're doing. I don't know who you are anymore. So you hate what I've done, huh? Why? Answer me, Barbara, say it. I'd like my son to hear why his aunt is on the other side against his father. You don't want an explanation. And what I did will not seem so strange to Lucky. Sister against brother, blood against blood. Isn't that what you've taught him? Isn't that what you're teaching him now? Chess, right? I don't know how I could have forgotten that. Stavros thought it was tedious, but you loved it. A master gamesman then and now. Well, you sure played Luke, didn't you? <laughs> you just pushed him and pushed him and pushed him until you had him. Oh, exactly that's what enough! Hey, I can't stand one more second of this pathetic whining. Nicholas! She is your mother. You will not raise your voice to her. Are you defending her as she defended you? No. You did. Bobby did. She just picked a fight with her husband. So why don't you go home and apologize to him? Tell him you made a mistake. I didn't. You just said it was all his doing. Evil Stefan drives saintly Luke to plant drugs on me. It was cowardly and underhanded, but it wasn't his fault, right? Just like it wasn't Lucky's fault for putting me in the hospital. Or your fault for leaving me twice. The fault is mine for being born. And his for what? The same reason? We are Cassidines and we exist. For that, we are guilty. I know that you're angry. I am sick and tired of being pushed away with one hand and pulled back with another. You made a choice. Now live with it. I chose you over Luke tonight. I'm supposed to feel honored? Huh? I owe you nothing. Except revenge, right? I hurt you, so now you want to hurt me back? 
I am your mother, and you won't allow me to touch you. That is agony. It's like a knife in my heart. Do you feel stronger knowing that you have accomplished that? Did Lucky feel better what, looking at you lying at the foot of the stairs? When you have a chance to hurt Lulu, are you going to take it? What you say? I will never hurt my sister. Good. Then it's up to you to put a stop to this right now. All of the lies and all of the hatred and the games that your uncle is teaching you to play, you have to stop, Nicholas. You are stronger than that. You have to love Leslie Lou enough to realize that when you hurt me or, or Lucky or even my husband, that you're hurting her too. Look, I, I thought that I could solve this by sending you away. I was wrong. I can't solve this one. Only you can. You won't even let me see my sister. How can you ask me anything in her name? Because I'm her mother. Because I'm afraid of your uncle, of my husband, of my other son, of all the hatred that they carry. I don't want this to infect my daughter. I want her to grow up free of this vendetta. Please. You are the only one who can help her. How? By not fighting back. What Luke did here today was wrong. But any retaliation on your part would be wrong, too. Don't you see? Everybody just keeps hurting and hurting, and nothing ever changes until one person is strong enough to stand up and say, I am done. Please, Nicholas, please be that person. Please. Love your sister enough to be more than just a Cassidyne. Love her enough to be a brother. Better go. Fine. Nicholas. I love you very much. I believe in you. You're my last hope. teaching my son to defend himself. From who? His own brother? He's not my brother. Yes, Lucky, he is. And no matter what your father may tell you, hating Nicholas is not but going you... to change that. <laughs> you know what? This is between you and him, OK? I'm just going to go say goodnight to Lulu. Good night, aunt. Good night, Lucky. I'll tell you, Bobby, you're coming dangerously close tonight to losing a brother and a nephew. Oh, do you ever listen to yourself? You've drawn this absurd line in the sand and you yanked your son over to your own side. And now the whole world is against you. Not the whole world, just the part that's Cassidyne friendly. I'm Cassidyne friendly. Yeah, babe. And what was my first clue? When I find you all snuggled up in Stefan's arms? Or tonight, when you covered that damn kid's butt at the hospital. You framed an innocent boy. You planted drugs on him, Luke. That was wrong. Hey, I had to stop it. Don't, don't jump metaphysical on me, Barbara. What you did tonight wasn't because of some newfound scale of right and wrong that you've acquired. It was for one reason only. It was to weigh in on the very real battle that I'm having to save my family from the Cassinines. And as of now, baby, you're standing on their side, completely ignoring all the damage they've done. Maybe because the only damage I've seen so far is yours. Stefan doesn't count. What has Stefan done? He came to Port Charles, and he saved Leslie Lou, and he saved the hospital. Have you ever had a conversation with a man? Do you know one thing about him besides his last name? I know a great deal about him, Barbara. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hear the name Cassidyne and you use it as an excuse to come in fighting and you fight dirty. The dirtier, the better. I was ashamed of you tonight. Oh, well. Gave you a chance to be a heroine. Well, you know something, Luke? That's a role I don't want. Not against my big brother, and neither does Laura. But you're not giving either one of us any choice. Do you understand that when you hurt Nicholas, you hurt your wife? Do you understand that you're the cause of this whole situation? 
What? You went begging Stefan to save the hospital, which opened the door for him to stick my wife right back in the middle. Okay, tonight I took some extreme measures. But guess what, babe? I'm desperate. I'm desperate to break the hold Cassidyne has on Laura. Luke, the only hold he has on her is that she's Nicholas's mother. And, and, and planting drugs and trying to get revenge and blackmail, that's not going to change that. You refuse to see what's right in front of you. <sighs> Nicholas is a lonely teenage boy who deserves every good thing his mother hey, can Hey, whoa! Get. Hold it! Just stop right there, Barbara. For one thing, this is not the kid you lost. All right, let's get that straight. And for another thing, this may be Laura's son, but that does not mean he's honest or he's decent or any other damn thing. Just because you're blood does not mean you're family. You're throwing away everything to hurt your own wife's son. Now stop saying that. I'm saving my family. You're abandoning them. You're walking out on them, just like our father did to us. Don't! Don't you compare me to him. You are hurting your wife and your kids for no apparent reason except for your own stupid, selfish pride. So what? So your wife had a baby with another man, and now she dares to love that son, and you find that intolerable. So grow up, Luke. God, you have everything we always dreamed of having. You have love. You have family. You have a home. Yeah, for how long, Barbara? Stephen Cassidyne came here for one reason. To take those things away from me. He's got plans, and they're working. They're working so well, I can't even tell you. What can't you tell me? Obviously, I interrupted. I'll just go upstairs and check on the kids. They're fine. Don't, don't bother. Lulu's asleep and Lucky's awake. Coming apart at the seams. Way to go, Mom. Don't do this, Luke. It's not going to change anything. You know that. And no matter what you do, you're not going to make me hate you. I'll be at the club. Oh, Laura, I'm sorry. I'm... That man who just left, that's not Luke. Yes, it is. Don't give up on him. I haven't. Why is it... Timodia, Uncle? What? Our family. Why is there atonement? Why can't anyone forgive? The Cassidines aren't anyone. Are we that evil? That we have to get back at our own no matter who we hurt? Well, from where I sit, you're the one who's hurting. So what? Even if I had been deported, who cares? We'd have gone home and it'd been all over. No. It will never be over until it's been made right. How? My father is dead. And I'm almost grown, or close enough to it anyway. And whether I have a mother or not is... What's your word, incidental? The only one worth saving here is Leslie Lou. And tonight, Laura made that your job. She asked you to forgive. Will you, Nicholas? Don't you think that I want to? I want them to pay for everything they've ever done to my father, to me, and to you. But Leslie Liu is more important than Timodia. I want her to be free. And how are you supposed to accomplish this miracle? Alone, with all that hatred massed against you? Do you trust me, Nicholas? I trust that you love me. And because you do, you manipulate me. Isn't it possible that's what your mother was doing tonight? She loves you, too. Does that give her the right to place an impossible burden on you? It is not your responsibility to end this. There's no way you can. Spencer is going to attack. I have a duty to defend. All of it is out of your hands. But I'm a part of it. And I have been for a long time. 
I let you use me because I wanted you to win. But I'm not sure I want that anymore. Hey. I don't know if Jason told you, but I'm part owner of this place now, and I, I'd like to see you around here more. Did you ask her what she wants? I, I was about to. Yeah. Mike, what does you want? Um, just a soda. Okay. Mike, on the house. On the house. Everything on the house tonight. Hey, hold it. You're back and already you're giving away drinks. I don't think so. Mike, put it on Mr. Rockefeller's tab. <laughs> Did you uh, run away from home? Two of the qualities I like best about this gentleman. He's a servant and he's discreet. <sighs> hello, Jason, and hello, you. I don't think we officially met on Luke Spencer. I'm Gina Williams. Gina Stone's little sister. Oh, well, welcome. Thank you. Our business. Likewise. Excuse us. <coughs> Laura threw you out? I left. Excuse me. Your uh, boss, I thought she could use this. Like I said, Mike, observant. <laughs> so, uh, that was Jax's father. I don't... Didn't you say something a bit about being discreet? I'm not trying to be mean, but it kind of... Excuse me. So what about Daddy Jax? He paid me a courtesy visit. And? Something about his boy Jax got him very nervous. Something happened in Australia. I don't know all the details, but... Uh, I'll find out. And then I will use it. You know, you gotta go. Hey, hey. Lady, good. Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't you take the lady home first, uh, and I'll meet you there. I'm okay. Don't argue about it, son of a Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I got it. Put that money back in your pocket. Thanks. I'll see you. Where's Mike? Mike? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Put that money back in your pocket. You, you were right the first time. It's on the house. Welcome back, partner. It's time for our side to win a couple. Trust me. They ain't gonna know what hit him. Luke says I've got Nicholas confused with Caroline. And I'm caring for your child because I'll never find my own. Even if that's true. I'm not sorry. Neither am I. You came to my son's rescue tonight, and I am so grateful to you. And so is Nicholas. Thank you for being my son's friend. It's not hard. I've watched Nicholas. He loves you. He may not be able to show it, but it is there in his heart. And if you fight for what you know is good in him, maybe what you want will happen. Maybe the hatred will end with your son. I hope so. You can't do it alone, Laura. Go after him. You have a chance to be part of your son's life. Take it. Thank you, Bobby. can't have. My sister's love, my mother's love, a normal life, one that's not ruled by vengeance or tradition. But don't worry, this isn't another prelude to running away again, because I know you can't run away from who you are. I'm a Cassidyne, and as you keep reminding me, one day I'll be the Cassidyne. It's important for you to accept that. I do. But I am also Leslie Lou's brother. And I will never hurt my sister or allow her to be hurt by anyone. And I will fight anyone who tries. 
I understand. Good night. Good night. Nicholas. I'm so proud of you. time you're old enough to play. Games will all be finished. I've been expecting you. I thought you might want to take one of the guest rooms since you and Laura have parted company. I'd repress that urge to gloat if I were you. I could lose it and kill you where you stand. Well, considering you just tried to frame my nephew for drug possession, I would tread very carefully if I were you. That's not my style, Stefan. My motto is push the envelope. Let it all hang out over the edge and let the devil take the rest. You may just do that. You wouldn't kill me. You're having too much fun at my expense. You've broken up my marriage. You've turned my sister against me. How much Tamoria do you need? You have no one to blame but yourself for everything that's happened. You're such a weasel. Why don't you just stand up and tell everybody what you're doing here? Be a man about it. Like you? You could do worse, Stefan. It's so sad watching someone self-destruct. Oh, get off it. You haven't had this much fun since you taught little Nicky how to pull the wings off flies. I wonder what will you do when your son and one day your little daughter grow up and realize that the man that they've admired so much is nothing but a liar and a phony and a coward. You stay away from my kids. Like you stayed away from Nicholas. I'm warning you, Stefan. You are in no position to warn anyone about anything. You're wrong, baby. I got nothing left to lose. If I go down, you're all going with me. And you can count on that because that is Luke Spencer's personal curse on your stinking family. As they say here, thank you for sharing. Excuse me. Stefan Cassidy. Yes, hello, Laura. Yes, Nicholas is at home tonight. But that would be fine. I'll tell him you're on your way. Are you finished with your curse, or is there something you'd like to add? Me too. Come on, honey. I'm going to tuck you in. I'll be up in a minute. Hey. Hey, your ears must have been burning. Uh, well, that ain't all, Dr. Rowan Law. We need to talk. What about? Your wife. Oh, he's gone off the deep end. It's funny, she said the same thing about you. I had that little sucker nailed dead to rights until she ruined the whole thing. Yeah, I heard the whole story. Did she tell you how she lied to protect yeah, him? Yes, she did. I think you need to back off here a little bit and get a little perspective. Tony, the trouble is I'm the only one who has perspective. Everybody else is involved in this Cassidyne love-in. Let me tell you something. This ain't Woodstock. I know you're hurting, but if you don't back off, not only are you going to alienate your sister, but you're going to ruin your marriage. Doctor, if I were you, I'd look to my own house. What's going on around here doesn't really concern you. Well, that's funny. That's the same thing Stefan Cassadine said when I found Bobby in his arms. Are you sure you'll be all right on your own? 
for the tenth time, Uncle, I can handle myself with Laura. The situation is different now, you know. That she's separated from Luke, she can be honest about her feelings. She'll pull out all the stops to try to draw you in again. I know. I've learned quite a bit about my dear mother's feelings for me in the past few months. Okay? Go ahead. Just go home. It won't take long, I promise. Me here. I could have. What do you want? Now. In Stefan's arms? The same night that she found you all cuddled up with your little lamb chop at the cabin was the same night I had to tell my sister that the daughter she gave away is dead. So I came back here to check on her. And she was all tangled up. What does that mean, tangled up? Do I have to draw you a picture? She was in Stefan's arms. Well, they're friends. Friends? Cassidines don't have friends, man. They have victims. And unless you get it together, she's going to be there next. Why are you telling me this now? Because it's time, Tony. It's time to give up. Whatever this fantasy is you're having with your little student slut. You watch your mouth. You want to stand up for somebody? Stand up for your wife. You don't have a clue about what's going on around here. I know when a man's being led around by a zipper, and I'll give you 50 bucks if she ain't already skipped town and picked up some other sucker. There, sucker. God. Oh, hell. Oh. You, you know, Bobby's right. You are out of control, The friend. whole world is out of control. Ow. So because you're going down the tubes, you want to take the whole world down with you, don't you? I'm angry, damn it. I've been standing around here watching a train wreck for months, screaming my brains out, and nobody's listening. What do you want me to do? I want you to open your eyes and close your fly. Tony, I don't want to fight with you, all right? This is desperation. Bobby won't listen to me. You've got to make her listen to you. He's already ruined my marriage. Don't let him do the same thing. Hey, 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 what's going on out here? What's all the shouting? Lou? Huh? Did you hit him? No. Don't lie to me. Oh, it wasn't a fight, no. I, I was just showing my brother-in-law that, uh, that hold that the Midnight Crusher won the wrestling belt with. We were doing a little old male bonding. You are so full of it. It's all cool now, Barbara. I'm not angry. My brother-in-law <laughs> has come to an understanding, haven't we? Yeah. Everything is set, then. Good. I want you to move tonight. I was worried about you. Well, as you can see, I'm fine. Please don't treat me like this. I came here out of genuine concern. I'm not gonna pull one of your long-lost mother routines again? You're not being fair to me. Aren't I? What kind of game are you playing with me? First you suck me in, turn me against my real family, then turn around and tell me you can't have anything to do with me. Now you're suddenly concerned for my welfare again? I got worried when you didn't come back to work. Why would I want to spend one more minute there after what Luke tried to pull on me? Everybody knows the truth about what happened. But that doesn't change the fact that I was led through the halls of General Hospital like a criminal. I am not here to defend Luke. I'm here because I don't want you to let what happened interfere with your volunteer work at the hospital. How am I supposed to work with those children after being accused of being a drug dealer? The minute that rumor gets out, no parent is going to let their child near me. I won't let that happen. There isn't a person who works at General Hospital who is against you. I don't, how am I supposed to believe that? It's the truth. Why 
Why do you even want me to come back? You know the answer to that. You just don't want to accept it. Good night. Will you come back to work? I'll let you know. earrings she was wearing last night. Well, give it to me. I'll see that she Oh, that's, that's all right. I'll do it myself. Deli. I'm not hungry. Well, not yet, but it could be a long night. Or a very short one. Okay, I'm here. Give me what you got. Who do you think you are? I would expect to be betrayed by an enemy. Or sometimes even by a friend. Coming from Nicholas or Stefan, it might not even surprise me. But from you? You're saying I betrayed you? You planted drugs on my son. I did? What is that? Is that a denial or something? I mean, are you forgetting that I was there? I was supposed to be one of the only two people who knew what was going on. No, instead, there I was, clueless, and you're the only one who had a secret. How dare you? Well, you know, you seem to have it all figured out. Why don't you tell me? This is about what you neglected to tell me. You told me that you were going to get Nicholas in trouble at the hospital so that we could stage a public fight so that Stefan and everybody else would believe that we were breaking up. I is that an accurate representation so far? So far? And I agreed to that, right? I didn't ask any questions at all. I guess that was my first mistake. I just trusted you. My God, are you so far gone that you don't realize that you went too far? Is that what I've done, Laura? <sighs> you planted drugs on an innocent boy. My son. My God, what if Bobby hadn't stepped forward? Then I imagine you would have. And if for some reason you were rendered incapable, then I would have fallen back on showing everybody these. I believe the correct medical term is placebo. What I planted on Nicholas was fake, baby. Candy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I didn't think. I, 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 I didn't think. I mean, uh, eventually I would have. Oh, God, of course it's okay to trust you. What is happening to me? Nothing it's more. just that, you know. What I think is up turns out to be down. And I mean, I know in my heart that you would never betray me, but it, it just seemed so easy. It just seemed like it Sweet was enough. so easy. How can we go on like this? Juggling all of these secrets and, and covert plans. I mean, where's the sense here? Where's the order? Oh, God. God, what's 
happening to me. Nothing. Nothing's happening to you. You're okay. I'm afraid. I'm really afraid. No, no. Sometimes I feel like I'm just barely hanging on, you know? Like if I just let go... No, Laura, you can't do that. Don't. I need you strong. If we have one shot in hell getting out of this thing, in one piece, we both have to be strong. Everything's on the line. Everything. Here. Get some rest. That's what you need. Love you.